and welcome to another edition of uh, Beer America TV. What's the show called? Yeah, Beer America <laughs> TV. Ironically enough, it's the website URL. Well, there you go. You put that together. Somebody was thinking yeah. when they started this. Business. I don't know who that was. But uh, in this episode, uh, we're going to get totally naked. Yes. Indeed. Totally naked. Don't explain. Don't, don't throw up in your mouth yeah. just yet. <laughs> Sorry, John Pajoli running the camera just threw up in his mouth. That's okay. No, totally naked from New Glarus. New Glarus, which We're I am very totally pleased. unfamiliar with. Well, I I can honestly say uh, I'm very proud to be reviewing this beer. Um, Dan um, Carey with New Glarus is one of the you know most highly thought of guys in the business, in the craft brewing mm -hmm. in the business. Uh, very sharp guy, makes very traditional. Everything he does is just like right on. Um, and David Little was kind enough to bring us these samples mm -hmm. um, all the way from New Glarus, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, that was going to be my New Glarus is just not the name of the brewery, that's the location the of, name of the town. Yeah, right, exactly, you know, which I am unfamiliar with. But New Glarus has a pretty strong reputation. Indeed, yeah. Okay. So uh, Been around for a long time? You been around for a while. Uh, their, their, uh, their reputation is largely for their German styles, mm -hmm. but they also have uh, done some amazing Belgian style stuff. They, 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 they I don't want to pigeonhole them as a, right. being a German style brewery at all, but that is a big part of their tradition. Mm -hmm. uh, and this beer in particular is their uh, Pilsner style, and uh, well, so I have. Uh, now that you mentioned great it, we'll expectations. Do a little, yeah, let's. Yeah. Why delay right in any there. further? Yeah, that's probably a bad pour like that, but uh, oh yeah, I can see right away. Nice and clear. What is a Pilsner style? What does that mean? Well, Pilsner is a lager beer um, mm -hmm. that originated in Pilsen Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so it's kind of the archetype of uh, classic lager beer. Um, but really what I think makes a Pilsner is it, it is distinguished by its clean malt character, mm -hmm. um, a very simple grain bill usually. Um, and then you have uh, this We've talked before about the elegance of uh, some of these German, distinctive mm -hmm. German noble hops, as we call them. So you get this uh, clean, herbaceous, uh, sometimes a little slightly spicy character. Mm -hmm. um, it's clean. When you said clean, yeah. No, oh, you know what? The totally naked is there. Uh, I, I was, I was, uh, I was totally prepared to, for this German Pilsner. <laughs> it's completely screwed up on camera here. Uh, the totally naked is actually their take on uh, uh, American. Pilsner stuff. Okay, all right. Which is going to be uh, just kind of taking it down a notch. Yeah. Well, it's. Um, were you expecting like this big bold character when you put it in your mouth? Uh, no, and I can tell. <laughs> no, when, when you were like when you were talking like like nice and clean and it's really mellow, but with with flavor. I mean, it's definitely got good good flavor, but it's not heavy. It's nice and smooth, clean. Like clean is a is actually the great way to. Explain. Yeah, this is very clean, very mm -hmm. crisp. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what their uh, malt strategy is here, uh, and I should know this because uh, one of our uh, good friends just moved down from uh, Mineral Point, mm -hmm. which is like just outside of New Glarus, and they actually bring down New Glarus beer all the time when they go home for visits. But um, he told me all about this beer, and I can't remember if it's they actually do the corn thing or it's mm -hmm. all malt, but. Um, well, we put little factoids like we do yeah, in we'll magic do a little of, uh, research. video, a little research afterwards. And, uh, you know, this is what happens when you come straight from the liquor store. And, I know, uh, yeah, it's true. He went out and just got these beers. We decided to do it tonight. And, here uh, I was thinking that this is going to be the big classic German pills here. No, it's actually very nice. This this is a beer that I think anyone could drink. I think Pajoli would like this. One. I think Pajoli might actually <laughs> like this beer. You want to uh, you want to try it? You're, you got a little glass there. You want a glass? Although there's only a little bit of spit down at the bottom. No, don't drink it out of the bottle. Get a glass. Go down there and get a glass. A All right, give him a bottle. There you go. Sorry, right. nitpicky. There you go. Well, there you go. I think you'd like this one, now, this too. This is a beer that you could uh, enjoy straight out of the bottle. Absolutely. Well, um, not uh, This beer is clearly not meant to be an overwhelmingly flavorful beer, but I think um, uh, crisp the key, and clean, like key point said. here is that, yeah, crisp and clean, but I think there's some integrity to this. You know, it's it. The thing about making beers that are this light and crisp and clean is that whole clean factor. I mean... Any kind of aberration is just going to come mm -hmm. screaming right out. There's nothing to hide behind. Right. So, and I um, and I also think beers like this are a great uh, a great jumping off point for those people who drink the other brands that we shall not name on this show. You know, I mean, I think if you could you could go from that to this, 
easily and oh, say, yeah. oh, there's a big yeah. flavor difference there. And I actually got a wow out of Pajoli. Did you like, is it be wow because it was good? good. or yeah, yeah, good. It, yeah, real easy to drink beer. But with flavor, and that's my point here, is the fact that it's, just because it's clear and it looks like a, a Miller Lite, it has no resemblance whatsoever in taste to it. Nice and clean. Yeah, this would be pretty rich compared to yeah, Miller Lite. Yeah, exactly. It's, but it's great. I mean, don't let the, the clarity fool you. There's lots of flavor in there. Totally naked. You totally know, naked. As the name says. There's yeah, I gotta find out what, why they named it Totally Naked. I'll have to do a little research well, myself. I think that's that. really what it boils down to. Yeah. There's nothing to hide behind. Nine, nine behind. Excellent. So, well, well, New, New Glarus. Well, especially stepping up, uh, totally expecting the German Pilsner experience and mm -hmm. the Czech Pilsner experience. Um, I, I'm a little embarrassed, but uh, it's. Okay. It happens. Well, I could have I could I could have read the bottle probably and gotten more information. Yeah, it's probably tiny print. And I can't see anyway. So oh, I that's yeah. That's beforehand. that's my my eyesight. That's yeah, the that's right. Exactly. So there you go. So it's totally Sorry, naked, Dan. and we didn't really get totally naked, but we we will definitely. Uh, David uh, brought this to the table. He also brought a bunch more, right? So in he future yeah, episodes, couple, we'll be doing more about more. Nuglaris, and we'll be probably better informed than we are right now. Yeah, do our homework research. this time. Yeah, exactly right. And so, the bottom line is, nobody really wants to see us naked. No, absolutely not. Even not, our wives. No, not even our wives. Really. Exactly. I was going to say this. That's all right. All right. Anyway, uh, Paul at BeerAmerica.tv. Pink at BeerAmerica.tv. And uh, questions, comments, and um, podcasting is doing very well. I almost forgot. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, we got to oh. do a little plug here. Big event uh, in Savannah. If you guys are in the neighborhood, uh, we are be doing a big beer festival, the Savannah, the second annual uh, Savannah Craft Beer Festival. When? Uh, it's coming up Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, more than just one beer event. We have the uh, the night before, the uh, Friday night, we've got a great food, food and beer pairing event. It's going to be kind of a low country boil theme. Uh, Which is traditional in this region. Indeed. Um, so that with Which a, is awesome, a by handful the way. of uh, great mm. uh craft beers from around the country. It's sort of like a mini fest before the fest the next yeah. day. Um, and where is it going to be taking place this year? Uh, we're going to be across the river, uh, right, right across the river from Savannah. We're in the uh, convention center over, over mm -hmm. there. Uh, awesome facilities. views. Uh, really great. It's a, it's a little warm, so uh, come uh, dress accordingly and be prepared. But uh, great time. We had a great turnout last year. Last I'm, year was I'm unbelievably good. And I actually shot a video, John and I did, that it's, I have not put up yet, and I promise I need to do that quick because we actually drank out of the spit bucket and all that, and that was pretty good. Not the spit bucket, the dump bucket. I was kind of hoping we'd uh, forget about that. Oh, no, I'm putting that up. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Uh, anyway, but, cheers. New Glarus, totally naked. We, us not, beer is. Indeed. Cheers. Ding.